In this equation, we have CH3, CH3 plus O2, and this is a combustion reaction, so you'll get carbon dioxide and water here. You'll often see CH3, CH3 written just as C2H6, and that can make it a little bit easier to balance. But either way, if you use this here or this here, you're going to end up with the same coefficients once the equation's balanced. So let's add the atoms up on both sides of the equation. We have one, two carbons. We have three plus three, six hydrogens, and two oxygens. Over on the product side, we have one carbon, two hydrogens, and then two oxygens plus this oxygen here, so three oxygens. It might make sense. Usually I leave the oxygens till last. Why don't we do the carbon, see what we get with that. We have two here and one here, so we'll put our coefficient of two in front of the CO2, and that two applies to everything, so we have one times two. That'll give us two carbons. Those are balanced. And then we need to do our oxygens. We have two times two, that's four. Plus, we still have this one oxygen out here. So we have five oxygen atoms. Okay, let's see what we can do. Let's balance the hydrogens. We put a coefficient of three in front of the H2O. Two times three, well, that equals six. So the hydrogens are balanced. But once again, we need to update the oxygen atom. So we have two times two, that's the four plus one times a three, that gives us seven. So everything's balanced except the oxygens, and you have the seven in this two, that's a little bit awkward. What we could do is since we want to have them both with the same number, and seven would be nice because then we wouldn't have to mess with these anymore, we could multiply two times seven over two. Twos would cancel out, and that would give us seven. So we could put seven over two as our coefficient, and the equation would be balanced. Some teachers, they're okay with that. Others want to have whole numbers, but that's easy enough. We can multiply everything by two up here to get whole numbers. So if we did that, we'd put a two times the one. So we have two of these, two times seven over two. That gives us seven. Two times two is four. Two times three is six, and we're done. So our coefficients are two, seven, four, six. The key to this one really leave the oxygens till last and then use the fraction to help balance the equation. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for CH3, CH3 plus O2, giving us carbon dioxide and water in a combustion reaction. Thanks for watching.